Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now 1080p is the most common resolution that most of us play at when it comes to PC gaming. However, I know that when I put together my first system, I was grateful to even be able to achieve playable frame rates at 720p and I was pretty happy with the results most of the time and so today 720p is going to be the focus of the video. So what I decided to do was to try and find a graphics card for less than $7.20, roughly five pounds pounds 50 here in the UK and see how capable it was when we play at the resolution that we pay no when we pay at no when we play at the resolution we pay anyway <laughs> so what i did was take to my favorite used parts website which is of course uk.webuy.com to try and find something that may suit our gaming needs and the best way to do this was just to see what was in stock at the lowest price and the first thing I came across was the GT520 from NVIDIA. Launched in 2011 this 48 CUDA core graphics card features an 810 megahertz core clock and one gigabyte of DDR3. It's also rated at 29 watts, meaning it doesn't need an external power connector and would fit in most PCs. But what is the GT520 capable of and was it worth the four pounds that we paid for it? That's right, we even came in under budget. So let's get into some games and see whether or not spending less than $7.20 does equate to a decent 720p gaming experience or whether or not we do need to spend a little bit more money or just find something different altogether. Starting with GTA 5 at 720p, the resolution that will of course be used throughout and the normal settings and the game ran okay with an average of just 26. It didn't feel totally unplayable if I'm honest, but that's probably because when I first bought this game it was on PS3 which looked and felt similar gameplay wise. A card like the GT 520 probably couldn't achieve smooth performance at anything above this resolution in most games, but for the price in this instance I can't complain too much. Borderlands 2 fared a little better with an average of 32. The settings were set to low once again and the game didn't look fantastic but it was playable. This is one of those GPUs that was intended as more of a graphics adapter and to provide the user with an HDMI slot if their motherboard didn't have one for streaming video to a TV or something similar. CSGO averaged 50 though as you can tell by the 1% and 0.1% lows that followed there was some stutter here and there though it was nothing that put me off to the point of the game becoming unplayable. Results will vary on the map of course but you can expect to achieve between 40 and 60 frames per second as an average most of the time. But can it run Crisis? Well I hope this answers your question. No matter what I did the game crashed to a black screen. I guess some things just aren't meant to be. Rocket League, on the other hand, yielded fairly acceptable results with 38 frames per second on average, though the graphical settings left some things to be desired in the way of how everything looked. But a couple of minutes into a competitive game and you start to forget about that. It was important that I didn't just opt for really old games because most modern GPUs can handle older titles with ease and I tried to go for ones that were fairly modern yet could give our GT520 a chance. I was also pleasantly surprised by the sleeping dogs result. 30 frames per second on average is okay and there really wasn't much stutter so it was an acceptable experience even if it wasn't the best I've had. This card probably isn't worth getting if you have to pay much more than $10 or pounds for one on the used market which they can definitely be found for when it comes to online auctions but depending on what you play you could definitely live with it if you only had a 720p monitor and not much cash to spare and your game library doesn't consist of too many newer titles. It was it was fun seeing what we could do with our 720 budget though and I hope you guys enjoyed watching nonetheless. Thank you and I'll see you all in the next one.